888 Race Engineering is one of the most successful teams in Australian motorsport and we're here today at their headquarters in Brisbane to give you a sneak peek at their factory and behind the scenes. Let's go. Now things are an absolute hive of activity here at the moment. The boys have just come back from Darwin. The cars are being loaded off the trucks. There's a whole lot of other things going inside as well. They're developing the 2018 car and also the twin turbo V6. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay, let's go inside. Sorry, man. Okay, this is reception. Looks like they've had a bit of a big night over there and they could have cleaned up for us. Through here, first things first, food. Now this is the cafeteria. Everybody is fed here. If they don't get fed, they don't end up on the grid. And we've got, back here we've got Mario. Mario makes more meals than you'll have in a year. Notice over here we've got the Winton trophies from the most recent round. Very glamorous salad bowls. Here, if we duck in here. Hello Mario, Hi, how, how are you, are you going? Yourself? Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you again. Now, what are we, what are we eating today? What's, okay, what we are, are having, having? Uh, lamb and chicken slovaki. Okay, then we've got uh, my friend over here, Florin, okay. who's a vegetarian, so I had to make him some vegetarian uh, skewers. Yep. So, yeah. Fantastic. That's you good. basically, you, you're, the, you're the fuel, you give the, the guys the fuel that keeps yeah. them going so they can exactly win races. Right. Yep. Awesome. Exactly. Fantastic, Mario. No problem, thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. See you, thank you. see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Cool. Okay, so it's not all just race cars and engines. This is really the engine room of where everything happens for 888 Race Engineering. This is where the engineers actually sit. So before we go downstairs, I just have to do something. Sitting there, well not now obviously, no one's sitting there, is the team owner of 888 Race Engineering, Roland Dane. Amazing famous figure in this industry and he's not in the office at the moment, but just wanted to, just wanted to do that, okay. Let's go downstairs. Have you noticed the trophies everywhere? They're everywhere. The kitchen, in here, downstairs, everywhere. And the reason why is because of what's down here. Let's go. Okay, here we have probably the most exciting place at 888 Race Engineering for me anyway. And this is the workshop floor. Each car basically has its own bed. You've got Craig Lowndes' car over here, you've got Jamie Wincup's car over here, and you've got Shane Van Gisbergen's car over here. This is Paul Dumbrell's car, if you are wondering as well. Now, they've just got back from Darwin. The guys here are completely pulling apart the engines, the transmissions, the drivetrains, the suspension, everything comes out. It's crack tested, it's sent away, or it's rebuilt here. Now, we're gonna to talk to a very important guy over here. His name is Chris Goose otherwise known as Gooey. How are you? Hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you. Now, you're the bloke in charge here at the workshop floor. What's happening out there at the moment? So, we, the cars have just got back uh, on the weekend from Darwin. It takes a while to get back, obviously. So, uh, you can see there's engines out at the moment. We'll just strip the cars completely. And a little known fact I mean, that a lot of people might not know is that each engine doesn't stay with each car either, does it? Yeah, exactly. So we do that across the board. It doesn't matter whether it's an engine or an upright or a control arm. So we'll uh, purposely circulate things around. It's, um, it, it's just an engine, you know? So yeah, off limits to us. Somewhere around here is a 2018 car and yeah, yeah. the new, uh, new engine, which is going to be developed here as well, the yeah. twin turbo V6. How's that all going? It's yeah, Exciting look, it, times. yeah, exactly. You know, the the car isn't that far away. You know, so we've um, we've had some stuff happen in the states, and and yeah, eventually got our hands on one of these bad boys. So we'll we'll start now. Start doing the development, moving forward from that. So, so it's somewhere out there. Yeah, yeah. I promise you, it's somewhere in in somewhere this general in the vicinity. Okay. In the business, so. Keep your eyes peeled, people. <laughs> Thanks, Gooey. Really appreciate okay. it. Good luck for the guys. rest of the year. Cheers, Cheers mate. Okay. This is the machine shop. So bits are designed and they're sent down here, which are then actually created by the people that work down here. Now, this is Craig Johnston. He's the machine shop manager. G'day, Craig. There you go, mate. Good to be here. Now, this is like, these are the unsung heroes. Basically, they create something like a component like this out of a block of something like this. How do you do it? It's obviously not a chisel, but like, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, we use, uh, we got five CNC machines in there that we use to yeah, you know, obviously create this out of this. So we have to 
you know, lots of tools cutting away at the metal, and that's about probably about 12 hours work there from that to that. Mm. And then obviously we've got tolerances and threads and everything that we have to sort of get right. And, and this is actually a controlled component, so every team's got the same same design here, so they all yeah. make their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Make, it's a rear upright for the back of the car, so basically the wheel goes on, there's the spindle there, so yep. it goes like that. The wheel goes on there with a the nut on the outside of that. Yep, yep. And you made it out of out of a chunk yeah, of metal like that. that. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. You guys should be getting the trophies. <laughs> okay, next we have the panel shop. Now, after a race, after people had a bit of argy bargy, the front splitters come off, the bumpers come off, the rear bumpers come off, and they're wrecked. So uh, they they pulled apart, they're sent away, they're sanded down, repainted, you name it. They come back here, and then they are reassembled again. As you can see, these are the ones from the last race. They've got to be fixed up and then sent out again. This place is really important as well. Okay, through here, we have got everything being unloaded off the massive trucks which have come back from Darwin. So all the tyres are coming off, including the tyres they haven't used, like those wet tyres over there. Didn't need them for that race. Now in here are more tyres, but shh, they're actually sleeping. They're kept in a humidified environment and a temperature and sensitive environment as well. They're really, really susceptible to de degradation from, from UV light. So they're kept in there in the dark where they, can, where they can be safe. We have got a mock-up of a wheel change stop. Now we've even got the boom here which controls the, the wheel guns as well. So this is where they actually practice, practice getting the wheels off themselves. Come, off it comes, there. and they practice and practice and practice and practice to try and improve their times. And they actually do the real thing. If you look down here, skid marks, they actually run a full, a absolutely full case scenario of having the car come in, a full team, kit it up, sit it up, taking the wheels off the car and then off again. You can actually see they've been practicing and practicing and practicing here. Here we have the Team Vortex truck. This is actually where Craig Lowndes' oh look, Craig Lowndes' car is transported from in the back of this truck and down here, is the truck, hello, um, that transports the other two cars, Shane Van Gisbergen's and Jamie Winkup's cars. They go in here. So there you have it, a bit of a sneak peek inside Triple Eight Race Engineering's headquarters.